Hey guys, my name is Rose, and, and this video is going to be ranking all the palettes I bought in 2019. I was like, what year is it? It is, I am filming this the 1st of December, though, so there is a small chance that I could buy another one, but I really don't think so. Um, I really don't think I'm going to buy another one, but there is a small chance I have one more, like, a month before the year's up, but these are pretty much... What is, I have 10 palettes, I'm going to start with the lowest ranking, and, yeah, um, if this looks a little different from, I mean, my last video will be filmed like this, but for the next, um, month I probably am going to be filming these in my little window still, just so that I can keep my presence, like, over there, that I need, like, wrap and stuff, and all that stuff, so I have some storage stuff over there right now, but, so yeah, it will probably be filmed like this. So yeah, let's get started. And if you and I'm probably gonna be filming two videos today, so um I probably won't change my makeup for the video because this just was ready. So there's that. Um so first one at rank ten is this little Revlon Playo palette and I'm actually decluttering this right after this video which is why I want to film this right now so I can just declutter it but it has some pretty colors this is 10 bucks though this has what like I think like three grams yeah 3.4 grams and it's ten dollars ten dollars for this itty bitty thing like like this is a Colourpop nine pan and this is like half the size of it but yeah I'm I regret buying this and it's not worth ten dollars none of these they came out with like four or five of these little palettes the green is absolutely beautiful I almost kept this for just the screen let me see if I can but like look at that that's so pretty but yeah but so yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of that after this video. So that's number 10. Number uh, 9 is this palette, which I think is the first palette, palette I bought this year. Which is the color pop. And this was my first ever color pop palette too. Um, so this is the Zodiac color pop uh, times Kathleen Lights. And this is what, I'm going to hold it like this so I can just, let me see, let me see if I can tilt it, yeah. So this palette, a lot of the colors are really pretty, I do find myself using this, but if, um, but also I feel like they're not super unique. This is the only one I feel like I would miss if this palette just disappeared, but I will like keep it and like use it and stuff. But if I knew what I knew now, I probably would have never bought it. But the packaging is super pretty. I am the... Actually, when... I'm gonna try to use probably, like, half the palette up. And then I think I'm gonna do... Cut out, like, the the inside bit. And, like, make it into, a, like, a little magnet palette. Because I uh, did that... My sister gave me half of her Dream Street palette. And I did that with that as kind of a test run to see if I could do it. And it worked out really well. So, um, so yeah, I'm probably going to do that with this because I really love the packaging. The one downside of the inside packaging, though, is that all these little specks makes me think it's, like, shadow dust. And it makes me want to clean it all the time. Like, I'm, I'm one of those people who, each time after I use the eyeshadow palette, I will wipe around each and every shadow to get every little speck of eyeshadow dust off of it. Um, sometimes we would even take a q-tip and go around each pan slowly and get every single little bit, but, um, but yeah. So this little silver stars makes me think that they're eyeshadow specs and it's like, <sighs> it annoys me, but yeah. So that's number nine, number eight. <laughs> I was like, number eight is this palette, which is the One Ring to Rule Them All 
palette by Sparrow Cosmetics. I have a review of this on my channel. This is a really pretty palette. I um these three are plus glitters, and then there is one, two, three, four, five, five mattes, and then the rest are shimmers. The shimmers are really pretty, but you really need to pack it on with a finger. And, like, I'm the kind of person who would use shimmers in my crease, and I can't use these in the crease. They do nothing in the crease at all. But, like, I'll just swatch. I'll swatch my favorite shade in this. I'll just swatch it and then turn around. But, yeah, they have this, like, magical kind of shimmer to them. That are really pretty. That's Gimli, by the way. The, that one's my favorite. But yeah, if I like if I ever end up using this whole thing up, I probably would only repurchase like these two and then maybe Grey Havens too, which is a really pretty shade. But all the other shades I could live without. I, I would repurchase Rivendale too because it's just beautiful glitter. Beautiful. And I like really love glitter, so like so that's why uh, I'm putting it at number 8 because I can't use the shimmers in the crease and like I just feel like I can't get as many guys first looks as I can with other palettes and I feel like this is more of a companion palette even though I, I don't really mind using um palette like more than one palette at a time. But lately I've just been into like two shadow looks and like like the sh I look I'm wearing today is two shadows right now, even though it's kind of like dark, but it's like, this is two shadows on my eyes right now. So, yeah, so that's number eight, and then number seven, I'm going to say number ten again. Number seven is this BH Cosmetics Love in London palette. This is a 16 color eyeshadow palette. And it looks like this is pretty neutral. I got these. I got two of these this year. And I got them on sale for about $9.50. Which they're normally like 16 bucks. These are really pretty. The shimmers are so smooth. This is just like a neutrally one. And it's super pretty. Like like scone is like. I'm like reaching for that again. A lot. And then like this shade. These shimmers are just magically sparkly and smooth and metallic and this shade is lolly it's called but yeah this is love in london i love the shades it has a black in it which i have just too many black so that's why i'm like but these shades are so let me see if i can hold it like this above it are so pretty but yeah i really love this palette I mean I feel like none of the palettes I got this year are super life-changing like I could have lived without them but I really like like a majority of them and I really like want to use them and like that stuff next is I don't remember what number one I'm just a uh, full go the numbers because I don't remember but uh, next is this just my luck nine pin palette which is the monochromatic green palette. This is so pretty. It's just some greens. I really like like these olive tones. I've been really into like grungy like mustards and olives and stuff. So it's like really pretty and stuff. But I think this packaging is kind of really bulky for like nine shades. I think I am going. I have t I got two nine pen palettes this year. I think I'm going to be popping them out and putting them in the Z palette just so that it's like well condensed because these are the like the almost the exact same size as these uh, 16 pan NYX. Well these don't have shades but you can see how much more shades is in this one but it's like the same size because I organize my palettes pretty much by size. Um, But yeah these are really pretty and I, I'm hoping that me uh, 
taking these out of the things will help me use it more. I think I'm going to take them out, do a little bit of test run with them out, and then keep keep the packaging just for a little bit, just in case I want to put it back in. But yeah. The next palette is my other BH Cosmetics palette that I, that I got, which is, this is the beautiful in Barcelona palette. This is the palette I have on my eyes. I'm like... To show you close up. Although this side is being stupid because it has that weird line that I sometimes get when I don't like really smudge the shadow into my lash line. Cause like those, that's where my lashes start. Like that's like my blonde eyelashes peeking out and why it looks like there's just a line of like white or whatever. But yeah, I'm using Picasso and Stone. And those are the two two shades that I have on my eyes, just Stone and Picasso, those two, only those, I do have like a, a nude pencil like smudged on my brow bone and in my inner corner, but those are the only two like shadow shadows on my eyes, but yeah, this palette is so pretty, like look at all these tones, like this shade is like so pretty. And then, like, Picasso. Picasso is beautiful. I feel like this look is very similar to a look I did with my Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette. And if you have that palette, you know which two shades that would we create this kind of look. Kind of a thing like that. Only the, the matte shade is more ready than, than Stone is. I really like, like shades like this. But, yeah. So that's whatever number that was. I think it was number five. So for number four, I have my other nine pan, which is Smoke Show, which is so pretty. Like, I've been wanting, I was like one of those people that asked for this palette from ColourPop for so long, and this is so pretty. It's like so dirty. I have not used this on my eyes yet, actually. Um,. I used it on my sister's eyes once, but I haven't really used it on my eyes yet. This shade, this shade slated, keeps trying to pop out of the packaging. So, like, yeah. So that's another reason why I kind of want to take this out of the packaging. But, like, I swatched them, and, like, these two, I already know, will be, like, my favorite. Because they're, like, purpley ones. And, like, I just love purpley grays. Like, I kind of wish they would come out with a whole palette of purpley grays. Like, like the, the Flutter By palette, like that, mixed with, like, kind of these more tones and, like, do a combination of both of them. That would be so pretty. So pretty. Mine's so pretty. But, yeah. So that's number four. And these are kind of hard to open, these little plastic ones. But, yeah. There's that. The number three is another ColourPop palette. Uh, this is the Sweet Talk. This package is so pretty too. Like I love this package. Like if I ever used up like a majority of these shades, I would do the same thing that I did that I said I was a due to the Zodiac palette. Um, I make this into like a little magnet palette, but. Seriously, these are so pretty. I've been really into pinks. Like, I got really into pinks. Right now, I'm more into neutral. Right now, for some reason, I'm just, like, I want to do neutral looks. Well, today's not a neutral look. Because I've been wanting to do this kind of look for a little while, so I did it for this video. But, um, yeah. But the glitters, oh my god, the glitters are so pretty. I want to get, like, all of the couple of glitters. I want Hungry Ghost the most. But, like, yeah, I'm gonna eventually get Hungry Ghost. And I'm probably gonna use that all the time. So, yeah. There's that palette. And then, number two palette, which I've been using a lot lately. The past couple weeks, I've been using this a lot. And this is the Cargo Enjoy Every Moment palette. And, like, and this is just the perfect neutral. <laughs> Like, like, these are, like, just what I grab to gravitate towards right now. Like, those dusty, cooler neutrals that are just so pretty. 
These are cooler, but these are not as cool as like. I'm like right next to my makeup table, so I can just grab things. For, like this is the next ultimate cool nude. This is palette discontinued, but like these, this I would say is not as. This one is cooler than this one, but like this is more brown and this is more like purpley. But yeah, and this does have some like warmer tones like these two are more red like this is pinky but yeah that was number two number one is this palette which this is my Jackie Aina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I love this palette. I feel like this palette I can get so many looks with. It is so beautiful and it's just so diverse. I feel like it's more diverse than palettes that are usually like twice the size. Like I can get so many different looks with this. Like I'm the kind of person that don't really repeat their eye looks. So like this palette just is beautiful, like these three I will use all the time, especially pinker, like pinker is like just beautiful and like this one is super pretty, this shade could be just a all over everywhere like kind of one shadow and done look. Um, it does have one of those green browns which I've never really liked them, but I kind of want to try it and see if maybe... Because all the times I used it and was disappointed with green browns, I've used it as I would use a green. And it just always just looked kind of brown and warm and gross. I don't really like warm browns. They're just not my jam. I don't really like warm colors in general that much. I mean, I will do an orange look every now and then. Most of the time I do color or I do cool. So... I'm not super big into warm tones, but yeah, I want to try that and try to use it as a warm brown. And maybe I'll like it like that instead of trying to use it as a green. I mean, I haven't used this particular shade before, but like, I've used shades like it before, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, this is number one. And yeah, that's all my palettes that I bought this year. Um. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't super annoying with all the, like, brightness, um, going in and out and stuff. But, um, yeah. I don't know how to end these videos. Bye!